Hello, this is Dr. Liu at Li Time. Lemongrass has a, a lot of benefits and not only be used very popularly in Asian cuisine because of its delicious flavor it can bring into the meat especially and the soup but also the, has many medicinal benefits because it contains uh, functional compounds such as uh, citro. Citro is proved to have antibacterial, anti-inflammation, and anti-cancer benefits. So this brings benefits of this medicinal herb, lemongrass. But how can we make the best lemongrass, hydrosol, and essential oil? Hydrosol and oil are made by distillation, but generally there are two different types of distillation, hydro distillation and steam distillation. So which one is the best for lemongrass? So this video, I will demonstrate you how to do the distillation in the right way with lemongrass and I explain you can we make essential oil at home. Today I'm gonna use ADI for the hydro distillation with lemongrass. I'm gonna show you what's the difference between the hydro distillation and the steam distillation explaining. If you are new to the herb extraction by distillation and these two are the common terms, you wanna know what they mean. So you can figure out what is the way you can use for your herb extraction. For most of the herbs, hydro distillation, steam distillation have a, a pretty much similar results uh, regarding the quality of their essential oil and uh, hydrosol. However, there are some herbs that prefer more leaning to the hydro distillation and some others leaning to the steam distillation. Like today, the lemongrass, it's a uh, um, hydro distillation has a little bit better yield in its essential oil and the same with basil and then the lavender rosemary the steam distillation is better for their the oil production this is the adi it's automatic uh, uh, distiller and infuser especially for herbs and you can also make a distilled water I made a distilled water yesterday for today's uh, hydro distillation with uh, lemongrass. So when you are doing the hydro distillation, and this is my dry lemongrass leaves, um, you can mix the water with lemongrass in the pot, in this pot, and then do the distillation. So. After boiling, the phytochemicals, volatile phytochemicals will vaporize with water together and condense and then collect in the receiver. And the other thing, just give you a quick explanation, is uh, the ADI will come with these two accessories. And for the steam distillation, so if we want to make a lavender oil, hydrosol, uh, you want to have this called herb basket the herb basket will be placed on top of the water. So the water is here and at the bottom of the herb basket is here. So the, only the steam will go through the herbs. The big difference regarding the results is uh, if you're doing the steam distillation and you will feel like the herbs kind of like dry, you know, after the distillation because only the steam goes through it. The steam didn't stay there. That's the best design of a distiller for the herb extraction. So you want the steam will come in and go move out, you know, just constantly. So that's why you feel like the herb is still kind of dry. It's good, good sign for your the distillation. And uh, then just uh, cover it. So this is called a steam distillation. Now I'm gonna show you the hydro distillation of uh, lemongrass. So the first is uh, measure the lemongrass. As I said, I'm using the dry lemongrass leaf. When you're using the lemongrass, you wanna use its leaf. It's uh, kind of obvious, but uh, uh, some of the herbs use a flower, 
Some of the herb use a stem, a root. As I mentioned, a different herb we use different parts. So I have a book uh, written explaining 48 different herbs, how to use them, when you harvest them for the best outcome, and uh, what part you want to use for your extraction. And uh, the book is on sale. Uh, if you're interested, go to uh, read the example uh, chapters and uh, hopefully you can buy it and uh, support my work. Just do it this way, I think it's easier. I already have a 20 gram there, so let's add another. So I have my 120 gram of uh, the lemongrass leaf here. The, when you do the hydro distillation, there's a, a ratio between the herb and the water is important. You cannot make uh, too much water with the herb uh, because you got to dilute it and then you make your hydrosome like diluted as well. Um, for the fresh herbs, the general recommendation is one to five. And for the dry herbs, you can have a little bit more water. So today I'm using 120 gram of the lemongrass with one liter of uh, distilled water. So the ratio is about one to eight. I'm gonna use a uh, essential oil receiver and a separator today for the lemongrass. And if you just make a hydrosol, you can just put the receiver, come with ADI here. And because I wanna try to see if I got an essential oil. So when you do the oil separator, separation, so you're gonna need a little tubing lead from the outlet to the separator and also um, you're gonna need a little clamp we will have this uh, little accessory kit available uh, to purchase when the adi is uh, uh, ready to uh, ready to uh, launch it's pretty simple just uh, plug in the tubing and uh, move the clamp to the outlet, just let it lock there. So you don't want this tube uh, drop during your collecting. And then the other end just insert into the separator. It's like this, just insert into the separator. Because we just have a one liter water in the pot, so we don't want the time over one hour. Just want to do 55 minutes. This is for safe. We don't want it to dry cook. And if you make a distilled water, it won't be uh, very bad. But if you want to make a hydrosol, you don't want any the unwelcome the smell go into the hydrosol. So just turn on. The distillation is over and you can see the hydrosol I make. Uh, unfortunately, I don't get a essential oil from that amount of the you know, lemongrass leaf I added. Um, but uh, lemongrass do have a very low essential oil content. It's about 0.3%. So from that 120 gram, you may get a, you know, point three milliliter that's very little so that's also the same reason you know we got the cloudy hydrosol because oil dispersed in this uh, hydrosol but i i gotta show you uh, what the hydrosol look like so when we are making the essential oil and hydrosol at home because normally we use a small scale distiller and that is hard to make, you know, the oil 
because oil generally has a very low content in herbs. You're gonna need a good amount of oil. The herb, if you're making the oil from uh, some of the low oil content herbs, such as rose. Rose, from 1,000 rose petals, you can make only one drop of the oil. That's why rose oil, the pure one, the real one, are so expensive. And lemon balm has even less oil than the rose. But uh, you can still make uh, some oil from the high oil content herbs like uh, lavender, rosemary. I'll also show you eucalyptus, uh, um, peppermint, orange. You know, there's still a bunch of the, oil, the herbs. We can make the oil from the small scale distiller. Um, but today I demonstrate you the lemongrass. I didn't get oil from the 120 gram of the dry lemongrass leaf. There are a couple reasons. One is because that lemongrass I have is kind of old. I purchased like a two, three years ago. However, I still got a cloudy, you know, hydrosol. Uh, the second reason is lemongrass do have very low oil content. Its oil content is, you know, not like a universal number, but 0.3%. That means from 100 gram of the lemongrass, you may get a 0.3 milliliter. 0.3 milliliter, think about that. That is like a six drops of the oil. If you put that six drops of oil in a half liter of water, so they can be dispersed into the water. It's just like I make the cloudy hydrosol. So using the fresh or kind of a newer, you know, the lemongrass leaf, and that will help you collecting more essential oil. Thank you for watching. If you think this video is helpful, please like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel, become the member. This is Dr. Liu. See you next time.